Students, can you please open your literature books to page 15? Tommy, will you begin reading at the top of the page? Tommy, are you listening? Don't make me come over there. I warned you. Now you're going to get it. Sight? Yes. Um, scene 18 marker. Deborah, it's such an honor to have you with us tonight. Thank you for coming. Thanks for having me. You've played a lot of roles on both film and TV. Friends, I watch White Collar, uh, um, Gravity. Oh, cool. One, oh, you cool. saw <laughs> Yeah, I liked it on Facebook. Yeah, uh, absolutely. Awesome. I mean, it's a much faster kind of turnaround. You know, it's like you get the script, then you audition, you get the role, then like all of a sudden it's like, okay, show up to wardrobe, next day you're shooting. We're like film, it's so much more drawn out, and a lot of times there's rehearsal or read through, like totally different kind of uh, way of working, but I love both. Awesome. Watch oh. out. She's a little hungry. We didn't give her a snack today, so. Yeah, she likes brains. Don't eat my dogs. <laughs> How old were you when you started acting? Uh, I was six. I was six years oh, old. So what yeah. was the first project? I actually, it was a puppet. I made, I had to make a puppet, oh. and we had a puppet show, and I made this really cool witch. And like everything that's ever artistic, I spend way too much time, and the teacher got really angry, but then like my witch was the star of the, the show. the best witch ever, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, speaking of roles that you've done, do you do anything special to prepare for each role that you do? I think each one is completely different. I mean, sometimes it's like you can use things from your own life, mm -hmm. and then there are other times when it's like, you know, using your own life is totally not appropriate, and you know, it's more cool and special and fun as an actor to just like, you know, bring your complete imagination, like a four-year-old, you know, into it and just pretend. Just really pretend and pretend so fully that like every cell in your body believes it. That's what? the fun part, isn't it? What's your first movie you made? It was actually a short film uh, with NYU and I played a banjo player, a Polish banjo player. Can you play the banjo? <laughs> no, but I did learn enough of the banjo to like get through it. That's fantastic. Aww. Yeah, it was yeah. pretty fun. So, good. <laughs> so I saw one of your early films. I saw a uh, gun for Jennifer. Oh, that and I loved. I absolutely love. I love that kind of thing. Cool. This is so cool. You did more than just act, though, right? Yeah, I heard. Yes, you. I uh, I wrote the original story and I worked on the screenplay with my then partner Todd Morris, who um, he directed it, <laughs> and uh, I produced it. I raised the money. Did like the whole the whole planet with film festivals. You That's were a lot. Right, yeah, you Isn't were right on the cusp. Vigilante, strong female character, and and uh, and that I think that came back in uh, in Kick-Ass. Yeah, yeah, it definitely it definitely seemed like it did. It was a very exciting movie to do, you know, after having done a gun for Jennifer. Who started <laughs> you in your career back? I think I did, and I actually did it secretly because my parents really wanted me to be a doctor, and I ah. wanted to be a doctor. Ah. So my grandfather was a plastic surgeon, and I really oh, wanted to do that. Yeah. I thought that was like the coolest thing in the world. I was obsessed with like the idea of being a plastic surgeon for burn victims. I got distracted because I was like doing more and more theater and things like that, and I was starting to write plays. I wrote a play when I was in third grade that I got to star in. So it was like you know this is a theme. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, back to Kick Ass. Yeah. I really want to know what the atmosphere was like and what it was like working with director Matthew Vaughn. He's oh, yeah. amazing. Yeah. He was so sweet and everybody because you know I had to get you know kind of like half naked and um, you know I'm fine with that. I love the, uh, the concept of like European cinema. I don't think nudity should be so taboo. No. I mean you it know it's here, really yeah. like kind of ridiculous mm -hmm. the way people you know regard it. So I was totally fine with it. I was like well this is a scene. This is a fantasy. I'm playing. I'm pretending. It's fun. And um, they like closed the set, and Matthew Aww. Vaughn went to another room, and it was like Aww. remote. <laughs> and then he'd like come out, and, like you know, everyone would like throw me a towel, and then I'd have to like you know <laughs> wait until he came out with notes. He'd be like, okay, very good, but this time, and <laughs> he'd, like run back in, like close the door, Aww. and be like, okay, everybody, and then it would be just like me and Aaron Johnson again. And I'm like, okay, guys, it's 
fine. Really, I'm really fine with it for real. I signed the contract. Yeah, I, I know what, what I'm this getting is. Into. It's fine. But yeah, it was really, it was cool, and it was. It's actually very empowering to be in that kind of situation where you're like, you're doing that kind of thing, and you're completely fine with it, and everyone else is freaked out. <laughs> um, so, do you have any advice for any aspiring actresses, such as um, our friend here? I know she's Dorothy. Hmm. Or did she? Um, <laughs> I guess the most important thing is never give up, oh. and and Good find any way that you possibly can, even if it means like making your own movie, putting on your own play, writing your own stuff, like whatever it takes, do it. So what was one of the biggest challenges you think you had to overcome to get where you are now? Um, my parents didn't really want this, mm -hmm. ever. They wanted you to be the, the doctor, plastic yeah, surgeon, of course. brain surgeon. Yeah, yeah of course, cool. that's, you know, Act and that's actress. what... Yeah, like my dad had sat me down and he told me, he was like, you know, I'm really scared for you because you're going to New York City to study acting, and what are you going to do with a degree in acting? What are you going to do with a drama degree? Mm. And he's like, you're going to end up being a waitress or a taxi driver or something like that. And at that moment, I thought in my mind, I was like, no, actually he's right, and that's not good. So no matter what, I will make sure that I do not fail, even if it means having to like, you know, write, produce, direct, 